Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wildcraft, where Leonis has just come out of his den in order to get some breakfast, and lucky for us, we have stumbled upon a small herd of gazelle. So let's go ahead and pick the one that's not paying attention, which seems to be this gazelle right over here, and the hunt is on! Come on, Leonis, I know you can go faster than that. I know you can go faster than that. Do you want to eat? Come on. Come on. All right. There we go. A couple a couple little attacks to start things off. Leonis, you can't claw at the air. Go, 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 go. Come on. Oh, man. Watching him struggle to hunt when he is on his own really reminds me why it's better to be in a pride and hopefully as soon as Leonis uses his strength to really establish the power of the starry skies here in the savannah realm we will be able oh that's a really fast antelope all right let's go ahead and give it a rest <gasps> is that oh it's a hippo I thought that was a, a elephant rump over there but it is actually a hippo and you know the gazelle the gazelles don't seem to be too terribly upset about things I wonder what they're like. They seem to have really relaxed personalities altogether. A hippo would not have a relaxed personality, so let's try to give it plenty of room. I think the gazelle is actually slowing down because it wants to return to its its little herd. But unfortunately, that is not your fate, we gazelle. Instead, you're going to become dinner, but don't worry. As you guys know, here in Wildcraft, we do say that all of these animals are part of a spirit realm, and that is why this gazelle will simply... Sorry, buddy. Whoa! I hope that's not casting a curse on us. Look at that! If I was of a storytelling mentality, which I am, I would say that that long shadow cast by the gazelle might be a little bit of a curse. Here I was being like, oh, the gazelles don't seem to mind being chased down and eaten by our lions, but perhaps that is absolutely not the case. They very much do mind. But all right, so... As you guys have seen, we're actually struggling a little bit with Leonis as a lone lion, searching for ways to become stronger. Yes, more gazelles. And trying to take down enough prey to support himself and establish the starry skies in this area. It is not very easy. Go, 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 go. There we go. Okay, couple good swipes to the hindquarters. But hopefully, with the extra blessings from the Starry Skies ancestors, we'll be able to pull that off. Come on. I wonder if there's something special about the shadows here. Because they seem really nice. Oh, a zebra! <gasps> giraffes! Oh, this is so exciting! Oh, I love giraffes so much. They're very short giraffes. All right, we're going to have to go ahead and rest a little. The hunt continues. But yes, this actually is really interesting because when it comes to bachelor lions in real life, which are the males who travel on their own because they have not been able to become strong enough to establish a pride territory with females within it just yet, or maybe they're too old and they have been chased away by stronger males uh, who took over their territory instead. Oh, wow, look at this riverbank. But it is very hard for those male bachelor lions to survive, and those are definitely cheetah. And in real life, cheetah are very scared. Oh no, you don't. In real life, cheetahs would run away from us every- No! This is not what I wanted! This is not fair! I just finished my hunt, but I guess this is th that is very, very accurate for how things normally work where you don't really get time to enjoy your food before the others. Oh, those gazelles. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, that was unexpected. I would like to note, my friends, that in real life, there is no way a cheetah would try to chase a lion off of its meal. Cheetahs are much smaller. They are far more timid. Let's go ahead and rest. I think Leonis's pride is beginning to take some hits. The fall of a lion's pride, like literally, um, <laughs> because this is a lot harder. This is a much more wild land than anywhere that, oh, a giraffe. Oh, but you might be. Oh, but you're my favorite animal. 
<laughs> and you're clearly paying attention and they're actually really strong. I don't know. I really don't think, I don't think this is a good idea. Oh, and it's so beautiful. I can't, I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I know that, I know that that's probably silly and maybe one day I will have to content myself with hunting the giraffes, but today is not that day. There we go. Come on, come on gazelles. I really think they don't mind as much being hunted as the others because they're in on some sort of shadow magic. That's gonna be my little role play story for why the shadows keep going wonky. Oh, that's much better. This one's a lot slower. Maybe it was already weakened. Yes, we have gained strength. Oh, thank goodness. Now we can actually get quite a bit more strength, literally. And if we can get to level five, I think we will get close enough to be able to start getting mates, which would be really wonderful. There we go. Let's go ahead and add to that strength. Thank you very much. We definitely want that. I wish we had a pet. It'd be really fun to have a pet, but that's probably going to take a while. I do believe that the zebras will attack together if you try to hunt them. And let's try to do this hunt and then see if we can actually spend some time getting the special blessing from the Starry Skies ancestors for leveling up, which includes, oh, look at that Wooler Beast. That is going to be more what you usually find, that big gigantic guy over there. Come on. As the prey item for a pride of lions who would work together to try to take that guy down. Gazelle, of course, would be like really common, but there's not quite as much on a gazelle to feed many hungry lions as you would find on a wildebeest. All right, let's slow down for a second. The gazelle's climbing the mountain. The constant battle between prey and predator continues to play out. The rain begins to fall. And I just wonder about these gazelles and their shadow abilities. There we go. Ah, oh, fantastic. Soon we'll be able to take on stronger prey, but not quite just yet. And it will definitely help when we have some companions. Whew, but that's already much better than what we were doing. But all right, now that the rain falls across the dusty mud and across, well, the dusty mud. <laughs> The dusty sands and turns it into mud. Now that Leonis rests for a moment to gather his strength and lick his wounded pride, let's go ahead and see what the ancestors actually have as a special blessing for him of the epic chest in exchange for the new level that he has reached. And keep in mind, we're only going to open the epic chest for as long as he levels up to level 10 to celebrate that the ancestors are pulling their strength, aka all my precious gemstones, which I try to save for special occasions like this. Uh, and yes, we do not use the gemstones to buy anything. We might use the acorns to buy something though. Uh, but we don't use the gemstones to buy anything other than chest at this point. That may change if the ancestors change their mind in the future. But in any case, let's see what their blessing for that latest level up happens to be. <gasps> Whoa! You guys! You, this is where the roleplay is so important. You know how we were just talking about how the fox, or how the, 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 the antelope or the gazelles, whichever one they happen to be, seem to have some sort of shadow magic about them. I wonder if the, the black eyes that we have on the wolves over here are actually a curse. Wouldn't that be a fun roleplay way to see things? Oh my gosh. And then a funky little hat on the bird. Kind of really have to give that some thought and quite a bit of legendary strength like for the future that's really going to help us out so leona's actually got quite a bit from that uh, but i do feel like the black eyes for the wolves may be a bad sign of curses spreading from this the antelope like clan from this land over to uh to the rest of the starry skies. So we may be beginning to mess with forces far beyond our usual abilities. And let's see if we can actually mess with something new, like this warthog right here. I really can't wait till we have our roar. Oh yes, all right, we can take on warthogs. We are definitely strong enough to do this. Yes, ah, oh, fantastic. Look at that. Yeah, Leonis is beginning to become a lot stronger. 
I do worry that the gazelles have some sort of shadow curse that they just inflicted on the starry skies. And I do worry that we're kind of in over her head as a result, but I think that we'll be able to survive here after all. And it'll be quite exciting when our lion gets his roar, which may happen in just a second. All right, come on. I know you're gonna be so fast, but we're gonna catch you. Come on. I'm so excited to see. Ah, come on. What else we might get? Go, 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 go. It's going to be so much easier to do this with the pride. And that is what I was actually mentioning. In real life, lion prides work together in order to take down their prey. And it is very difficult to be a lone lion. You are quite large and you need to eat a lot of food. Yes! Yes! We're going to level up again! We're actually going to have a roar! Yes! Oh! Fantastic! Oh my gosh, and there's actually just directly a path to where we could find a mate. Oh my goodness, a lioness is waiting for us on the other side? We might actually have to follow through and see what's going on there, my friends. And we have another blessing now that we have proven ourselves once more to the ancestors that we can go ahead and open. I love it when we're able to do this many of them in one go. <gasps> Oh, with its little eyeglasses. That's so... Maybe maybe we could interpret that as it's a piglet who, with his special ability, can see the bonds between romance. Uh, that's kind of a fun way to try to roleplay away the weirdness of sunglasses on a piglet. Uh, a little bit more strength offered from the starry skies. And a beautiful action for our lynxes, which does remind me I want to see more lynx kittens at some point in the near future. Also, with love right over there, oh my gosh, it really is trying to just guide us right there, but a new roar! We finally have the roar of our lion, that is so cool! I want to go ahead and come over and see if we can use the roar to stun this wildebeest. And then, oh jeez, oh jeez, why are we not doing any damage? We've made the wildebeest really mad, but I don't really see how we're doing a lot of damage to him. Oh, jeez. We may have bitten off more than we could chew here. Stun him! Stun him! Run! Whoops. <laughs> Alright, so, back to the whole wounded pride thing. Sorry about that, Leonis. The savannah is much wilder and much more difficult to be able to establish ourselves in than I thought. But it is very exciting. There were some of you who were even theorizing that perhaps the Starry Sky's ancestors, and I, oh, look at that. We're still bonded with somebody. Oh, that's going to be so exciting. I kind of want to see what's going on. And the cheetahs. That was unexpected. Can I, I want to try to get the cheetahs. Nope, they're much stronger than us at this point. Probably not safe. Ah, but the gazelle. Let's see if we can get one more hunt in by stunning the gazelles. Oh, we're going to need a lot more energy before we can really do that. Thankfully, I think we can actually come over here. <gasps> the gazelle is stuck in the water. Perfect. Oh, but we're stuck in the water too. Almost there, almost there. We just need to get out of the mud for a minute, using the environment to our advantage. Nice! All right, let's eat this before the water washes it away. Excellent. And now we'll be a little bit stronger so that when it is time to get a mate, we will be able to endure. All right, there we go. But there we are, my friends. I do think that it is a hard existence, scrabbling at the edges, trying to survive in the savannah. And there is actually so much of the savannah that we do need to be exploring. We need to see if it's even possible for Leonis and the Starry Skies ancestors to even begin to establish themselves in a territory that is this vast. What will happen? Will we actually gain more curses from the antelopes? Or will we perhaps be able to find love and really be in, like, begin a new chapter and gain more strength for the starry skies? We're going to let Leonis have just a moment to gather his thoughts and have his daily normal dream from the Starry Skies ancestors to see if they're going to give him any advice for luck and love. 
Let's go ahead and see what that one's gonna be. Oh, it's been so exciting to do all these. <gasps> Whoa! I really, really, really love the color of this eagle. I cannot wait to unlock the eagle. And I actually do feel like the little glimmer of yet another heart glasses thing on a piglet means that we definitely should be looking for love at this stage. So a message from the ancestors that it is time to grow this pride. So if you guys could do please leave a like for Leonis as he begins to fix his wounded pride and hopefully will impress this lioness up at the top of the hill, spreading the strength of the starry skies, of course. And if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.